Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Sunday night, November 5th, 2023. It's about 1041 p.m. California time here. Uh, latest activity on the Earthquake 3D globe shows a 1.1. We'll get to all this other activity here in just a second. Uh, we continue to see G2 class storming conditions here observed uh, through the nighttime period with auroras venturing down into the northern tier states. It's currently weakening. Looks like the current aurora forecast is weakening slightly here, but uh, oh, in the last three hours or so, we did have auroras down into uh, some of these states, like Missouri, for example, was seeing some of the auroras. Um, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Quite a few uh, folks out there with clear skies, quite a few folks with cloudy skies. So luckily uh, for the ones with clear skies, they were able to observe the auroras down into some of those uh, uh, states there. As mentioned, here in Northern California didn't quite make it. We would have to have a, a pretty strong storm um, up around the G4 category, potentially, to see that uh, take place down here in Northern California. One of these days, right? One of these days. All right, so looking at the current uh, Aurora GPS, or uh, GP, right? KP. I don't know why I'm thinking GPS. KP index here. Uh, there's some of those observed readings right here um looks like quite a bit earlier uh let's go back here i clicked the wrong one quite a bit earlier here up into the g3 class storming uh but since then we observed a you know a little further uptick there to about the kp index of two we had a little die down of activity and then things kicked back up around the time it got dark over here across the states and uh, we observed some uh, pretty cool auroras out there across the area um tomorrow probably a little bit different story uh, after all this is said and done we'll get back to some neutral conditions although uh, we may see a little bit of lingering going on here in terms of uh, unsettled conditions across the polar regions uh, but uh, i think for now things are toning down slightly as we can see there on the aurora oval forecast uh, looking at the solar flare charts out here, uh, see what we got for sunspots. Quite a few of them, um, but it, the only one that may be worth watching is going to be this area right here. Um, I know this one's pretty massive, but it doesn't look complex in terms of its magnetic structure. So this area right here looks about the only area on the sun that uh, I would be watching, and that's going to be 3480 over here. That's the... Uh, one of the newer sunspots. We have been crackling slightly here with uh, some C and M, M flare activity. Um, let's see here. Not for sure exactly where most of this uh, M flare activity is coming from, but we can check this out here real quick and see what we have on the uh, video. Got to watch these couple sunspots down here. little bit of flaring right there see that little sparking a lot of that activity the C and M flare activity is coming from that uh, sunspot that I mentioned to watch 3480 all right overall threat right now 90% chance for a C flare M flare 25 X flare remains at 5% chance we'll continue to watch that uh, so yeah if you have any cool pictures there of the auroras uh, let us know where you're at uh, send, a, send some pictures to earthmastermail at gmail.com and we'll use them on the update uh, probably tomorrow. All right, earthquake activity. What do we got? I know I've seen something popping up here on the earthquake 3D globe. A uh, earthquake down here into the fracture zone. It looks like uh, is it going to be this one? 5.1 South Indian Ocean. Looks like that's the uh, one of the more recent quakes down there. Uh, the rest of the area got a 3.4 coming into the Indonesia Islands area. Pretty good cluster of movement taking place here across the area, although most of that movement is below the 4.0 threshold. Lots of twos, lots of threes out there. Uh, very typical for that region. Some older movement up here in Japan and also the Aleutian Trench uh, down into the Tonga area. Seen some deeper movement quakes here once again with a 4.6 coming in. USGS reporting it as a 4.4. That's uh, 459 kilometers. New Zealand, not a whole lot showing up here. Looks like some movement into the southern edge of the Kermadec Trench. Some deeper and shallower earthquake activity. Also 2.8 here in Australia. 
uh, the Big Island of Hawaii, uh, where to go? It's still out here. Let's hope it's still out here. Uh, nothing really showing up there on the Earthquake 3D globe. Very minimal, very minimal conditions out here across the Big Island of Hawaii. Uh, as far as earthquake activity goes, I want to check out the tilt meter here real quick. See what we got for Kilauea Volcano. Uh, tilt gives us a good indicator of what's going on below as far as magma intrusion or if we're just mellowing out in terms of that intrusion. Uh, still somewhat elevated here. Notice that pattern of uptick here in the past two days. Same for the past 30 days, although not quite as intense as the past couple intrusion events, as you can see here on the graph, indicating the uh, uplift inflation. Um, so it's just uh, just kind of watching it, seeing how everything plays out here. Mauna Loa uh, earthquake activity, not a whole lot going on. I believe these are wind events taking place up there. Uh, across that volcano let's see what else we got here for california anything major going on northern california here around the lake albanor area seen a 3.4 uh that's just outside the lake albanor area here to the south this has been of some interest here recently because we have had uh quite a bit of earthquake activity out here on a newly discovered fault uh, but this activity is a good indicator of regional stress up here against the plate boundary uh, movement across Mount Rainier looks like outside Mount Rainier a couple smaller earthquakes Mount St. Helens not a whole lot showing up here currently but uh, it is a weekend and they don't normally um, report too much activity it'll probably be Monday once we'll once uh, we'll be able to take a look at some of the activity that may or may not have occurred over the weekend um, far as the rest of California goes some smaller activity here across the San Andreas Fault 2.5 map and above well that shows that 3.4 and also a couple other twos down there near the Parkfield area and further down south into Southern California uh, some spotty activity here across the Salton Sea we'll watch this this is the area to watch here for some swarming don't want to see too much swarming out here because that could be a good indicator of uh, maybe something about ready to pop out here across the San Andreas Fault uh, Yellowstone National Park up here. Not a whole lot being reported, but we did have a 2.9 earlier this morning out here uh, around Casper, Wyoming. Uh, let's double check the Yellowstone graphs here real quick. Zip zero. I'm not really seeing too much activity out here. And uh, yeah, this is current information. Not a whole lot showing up. Uh, the rest of the map here. As you can see, a little bit of activity across the Middle America Trench. South America seen some movement as well. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean, not a whole lot of activity as far as any large-scale movement goes. Uh, still seeing some activity there across the Iceland area as far as volcanic uh, magma movement underneath the ground. But I don't think we've seen any major uh, change there to those uh, volcanoes. Just kind of watching that area as well. South America, quite a few fours out there. Um, someone was mentioning about uh, um, some earthquake activity around the uh, New Madrid system. Let me check this here real quick and see if they're online. Nothing showing up here from the USGS. Let's see here. Maybe I clicked the wrong one. Uh, Earthquakes Canada. I got so many. I mean, most of these have to do with um, uh, earthquakes and tremor. Uh, we'll have to look at that another time because that's not, it uh, doesn't look like it's loading. Um, let's go to the tremor map here tonight. We'll look at the uh, new Madrid system tomorrow, see what's going on. But nothing's really showing up out there as far as any of the uh, earthquakes go. Uh, nothing also on the trimmer map here. Pretty quiet conditions prevailing here across the Cascadia subduction zone. No trimmer, and it's been that way for a little while. So, just kind of watch it and see how this plays out. All right, folks, I'm going to bounce out of here. Have yourself a good night. Looks like a little spike of an earthquake there on Petrolia, Northern California. Uh, get you guys back here tomorrow. I'm a little bit tired. That time change messed me up a little bit. Have a good one. Peace out.